Hi guys. Okay, I told you the other day when I was making the potato cheese soup that I wanted to show you this particular salad. I made it the other night. My son had the Oscar party instead of myself because I still don't have one downstairs bathroom, so you can figure out the problem that I would have here. Anyway, I wanted to show you what I have, and I made the salad. Everyone brought something. We do that every year. Anyway, what this is, and this is perfect for spring um, or summer. It's fresh green beans, and what I did is I put them in the microwave for two minutes with a little bit of water, drain the water. Now I have, and if you've watched any of my videos, you'll see this is my garlic, where I cut my garlic with. Let me push this up a little bit so you can see it better. Um, so now I have these very thin slices of garlic, and <clears throat> it will take on the um, flavor faster. Let me get a knife. It'll take on the flavor faster because the green beans are warm. So there's the garlic. And then I'm going to cut up the basil. And what I do when I cut up basil is you just roll it. It's a lot easier. And then with my kitchen shears, I'll just cut it. Now I'm not cutting the stems into it. These stems I don't for the salad. If I was making a sauce or something, I would put the stems in, but for the salad I'm not. Okay. And you know, basil bruises so fast, it's not even funny. Actually, that doesn't even look pretty. I don't even like that. I mean, it's fresh, but I just don't like the way sometimes they turn, you know? Okay, so there's that. And now I'm gonna cut up aroma tomato and I'm making a very small version of this but for the party of course I made a lot more actually I this was left from what I made because I wanted to show you how to make this There's the tomato. So now you have the garlic, the tomato, the green beans, and your garbanzo beans. So pretty. Such a pretty dish. And I'm going to put a little bit of black pepper. You could put white pepper if you don't like the look of the cracked black pepper. But I don't want it. And then my pink Himalayan. white balsamic and really the white is more than anything it's for the look because if you use a dark it just muddies all of this up where the white you're not seeing any kind of uh, well you're not seeing anything you know because it's, it's clear and then a little bit of olive oil be right back I've been a little bit more prepared shouldn't I but this is was completely off the cuff There you go. Okay, so I'm just gonna stir that up. And you want this to marinate for at least a couple hours to get the garlic and the salt and pepper and everything incorporated into it so they kind of marry together. But anyway, I had told you if you watched my, I think it was my potato cheese soup video that I wanted to bring you this particular salad now that spring is coming this would be very pretty um, very pretty for Easter um, or a barbecue and actually what I'm gonna do tonight um, we don't have any rain coming until Sunday so I'm going to barbecue a steak with this salad and a half of a baked potato 
So guys, I hope you enjoyed this and give it a try. Let me know what you think. I think you'll really like it. Okay? You guys take care and you have a great weekend.